Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Wolfwing Early, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new blind box video, and today, ladies and gents, we are back yet again to a whole case opening. We're taking a look at the mystery minis, and maybe you can already tell which ones. This is the Batman Arkham series mystery minis, and they look crazy. They look really, really, really cool. These actually came out right in time, or I guess in congestion with or in conjunction with is that the right word i'm not sure but essentially they came around right around the time of batman arkham knight but they're actually known as the arkham series pretty much all of the designs from what i can tell are from arkham knight but for some reason it's still called arkham series it's not called just arkham knight which is kind of weird so nonetheless let's go ahead and get this thing all prepped and neat looking like it would look in the store like that with a little background right there. And then we have our boxes. There are 12 boxes in here. So there is the top layer with six figures. And then there's the bottom layer with six more figures below that. There are 12 figures in total within the wave as a whole. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that includes because it is actually available right here on the back of the box. Now I've actually done unboxings for these guys previously and I managed to pull the, uh, I think I have this Batman right here. And then I think I have this Batman and the Arkham Knight. So I think those are the three characters that I have so far from this set. Now, ideally, in theory today, we should be able to get the entirety of the set. If you've never watched one of these unboxings, basically the way we do this is I open up the box, I close my eyes, I rip the bag open, and then just by feeling the figure, I'm trying to figure out which character it actually is. You guys will know before me, so sometimes you get to laugh at how horrible I'm doing, where I'm like, oh, I think that this is the Flash. Meanwhile, it's like uh, Scarlet Witch or something completely inappropriate or something like completely not even close to the uh, guess that I'm making. So with that in mind, let's get rocking and rolling. Leave your predictions on which one we will get in the first box and which one we will get in the last box in the comment section below. Plus, wait till the end of the video because then I would love for you guys to vote on which is your favorite of the bunch. So here we go. I'm closing my eyes, guys. All right, I wonder if it's, uh, are these the black bags or are these the translucent bags? I'm not too sure. All right, should have probably checked before, but here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, and don't forget guys, if you enjoy this, drop a like, that would be highly appreciated. Let's go ahead and aim for 2,000 likes. Hopefully we can hit that goal. Ouch, what is that? What's going on here? Um, who is this? What is, um, okay, could this be Catwoman? All right, I'm gonna guess that this is Catwoman because this feels like claws. Like, this is really genuinely sharp. So I'm gonna guess Catwoman. Three, two, one. All right, it is Catwoman. Very cool. Look at that. She actually looks really, really awesome. And I gotta say, like, these are genuinely sharp. Like, if you just poke your finger at it, it's, uh, it's kind of surprising, to be honest. Do her arms move? Her head moves? Nothing. All right. So just completely stationary. She is the way that she is. It just stands perfectly cool and quite menacing at the same time. A very cool but simple design for Catwoman. Are there uh, two Catwomans or only one? Oh, okay. It's just weird because in the picture right here, she looks like she's kind of like looking sideways. So I didn't really expect for this to be Catwoman 100%. At first, I thought it was actually um, Red Hood or something because when I was pulling it, uh, um, the figure out, these felt like guns because they kind of like point sideways. But then I was like, ah, nope, that actually feels like uh, fingers and such. So there you go. All right, moving on. Figure number two. Who is it going to be? Let's find out, shall we? Here we go. We're going to cut through that. And... Hope for the best. Oh, I should probably look around. Where's that bag? Oh, there it is. All right, it was the black bags. But you guys don't like when I do the black bag thing where I'm like just like, oh, trying to figure it out without closing my eyes. So I'm going to still rip the bag open, close my eyes as I do it already. So there it is. Closing my eyes and let's see who this is. All right. Um, all right, no weapons in hand, so that could mean that this might be, okay, this could be Batman, uh, but the way that the horns up here feel, like the actual ears, it doesn't feel like the Batman ears, it feels a little bit more like the Arkham Knight ears, so I'm gonna, I want to say, oh, did the Arkham Knight have a gun? I don't think he did, did he? All right, I'm gonna guess that this is the Arkham Knight. I think it, okay, I'm guessing Arkham Knight. Three, two, one. 
Yes! All right, sweet! It is the Arkham Knight. Very cool. So I'm two for two. Look at that, like camel pants and everything. He's looking very stylish and quite cool indeed. A little bit of a paint splotch there, which is a bit unfortunate. But uh, overall, he looks really, really nice. And there's another figurine added to the Mystery Mini Army. All right. Now, by the way, let's go ahead and actually give these Batman, Batmen, I guess, a name. So we have the, uh, this will be Batman A, B, and C. So A will be the one that's like splayed open with like two fists like that. B is going to be the one that's like kind of almost in a ba battle position. And then C is going to be the one that's like standing tall and the Arkham Origins uh, costume. So that's what we'll go for, uh, just so we can kind of remember which one is which. Oh, this one's already ripped. Okay. All right. Ripped Aroni. Let's open it up okay oh look at this look at this two and one two and one oh i was kind of hoping like as i pulled the bag that the actual thing would open all right closing my eyes guys ripping the bag open and let's see um all right this is uh hmm okay wait this feels like hair like long hair could this be no but hardly had the double who was else who else had long hair in the series um, oh, is this Poison Ivy? Yeah, all right, cool. I completely forgot that she was in the series. Man, that was bad. I almost messed up big time. Because I was going to say Harley Quinn, because I, I was like, I'm pretty sure she's the only one that has, like, longer hair in the series. Then I was like, wait, could it be Nightwing? But no, because he would have the baton. So it is the one, the only, the lovely Poison Ivy. She's looking really nice. Does she glow in the dark? Because her plastic looks like it's glow in the dark. It's not. I don't think it is, at least, but... It would be kind of amazing if it was. That would have been amazing. Just put her on a shelf and all of a sudden you walk in at night. Boom, there's a tiny little poison ivy glowing at you. That would be kind of intriguing and uh, at the same time kind of terrifying. All right, so let's do this. Opening up the next box. This is uh, number four. Here we go. The next box. Is that like going to be the sequel to the Xbox? Hey, this is the, instead of the Xbox 2, this is going to now be the next box. All right, here we go, guys. Closing my eyes. Who is it? Is it a good one? Is it a bad one, guys? Is it a good one? Is it a bad one? Oh, come on. This one's easy. This is Harley right off the bat. Bada beam, bada boom. That was too easy. As soon as I felt the uh, like the ponytails, it was it was donezo. I knew that it was Harley Quinn right off the bat. Man, she looks really, really nice as well. Really nice details on the costume. I like the overall like tone of where you can see the interchanging colors on each side. Like the black is on left hand, but then you have the red boot, and then you have the red boot, but the, uh, oh, sorry, black boot, red uh, hand right here, or wrist protector, whatever you want to call it. Same things with her um, stockings and such, but that's cool. That's a nice little idea uh, for just an overall cool design for Harley Quinn. All right, guys, we're almost done with the top layer. There's only one more figure to go after this one, so let's do this. Let's go. Figure number five shall be... Let's find out. Who will it be? Who will it be? All right, come on. Oh, okay, that was a complete fail. Come on, open the bag. It's taking way too long, or the box, I guess. Close my eyes already. Okay, this figure is not wanting to climb out. Oh, 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 wait, is this another Catwoman? Because these feel, oh no, okay, probably not. Because at first they felt quite sharp. I was like, uh, I'm pretty sure that it would say Catwoman again. Um, but then this obviously does not feel like Catwoman at all. Um, it's, um, I think it might be the, ouch, where, where did the figure go? Oh, there it is. Uh, I think it might be the Joker. So I'm going to guess the Joker. Three, two, one. Ba-bang. Fantastic. <laughs> What's with that pose? He's like, ha ha, I'm the Joker. Look at me. It is I. I have arrived. He does look quite nice, though. Very cool costume, obviously. Very, very, very nice looking and uh, quite spooky looking at the same time. So there he is, the Joker, leading the gang of villains. Well, except for Catwoman, of course. She's kind of an anti-hero. Sometimes a villain, sometimes a hero, but most of the time still on Batman's side. So there we are. All right, here we go, guys. Final box from the top layer. Let's see who will it be. Can we get a Batman? It'll be uh, right about time. I mean, we haven't got one Batman so far. It would be kind of nice to get a Batman at this point. All right. I've already closed my eyes, by the way. Is it a Batman, guys? Is it a Batman? Ouch. All right. This is another one with the claws. Um, 
Okay, well, it can't be Catwoman because there's only one in the set. And this feels like a hood. And as a result of that, I'm pretty sure I know who this is. I want to say that this is probably the one, the only, the menacing Scarecrow. And I am correct. My goodness. All right. I think I already know which one is my favorite. This guy looks so cool. Look at that stitch work right there. That is really, really nice. Look at that glove. The details on that is just phenomenal. Very, very nice looking. All right. So that is six boxes down, six boxes to go. Here we go, guys. Let's do this. First box from the lower layer. Here we are. Here we are. So, so far we've already got like, uh, what? Scarecrow, Arkham Knight, Harley Quinn, Joker, Catwoman, Poison Ivy. So basically the next six figures should be the entire Bat family and the Red Hood. <laughs> That's going to be the entire lineup of characters. Oh, I can't get this. Oh, okay. That was weird. I couldn't get the box out. I mean the bag out. That was kind of strange. All right. Eyes closed, of course. Oh, this is probably... I want to guess that this is probably Red Hood just because of uh, the two blasters down here. That was the first thing I felt. So I'm going to guess Red Hood. Is it? Three, two, one. Yes, it is. Of course, the Red Hood looking very, very, very cool. Quite fantastic. Look at those pistols right there. Dual wielding like an absolute boss. Looking quite cool indeed. Can you move the head? I wish that their heads would move and their arms would move. That would be so cool if they had a little bit of articulation. Just so that you could get them into some cool poses. So far we've got basically just villains. <laughs> which is kind of weird. It's really weird because basically that means the next five figures are going to be the four different versions. Or sorry, the three different versions of Batman, Robin, and Nightwing. It's the entire Bat family. So this will be interesting. All right, let's see. Guys, make your prediction on who will be the final figure. Will it be Batman A, B, C, Robin, or Nightwing? Let me know in the comments section below. All right, let's do this thing. Here we go. Closing my eyes and ripping the bag open. Which one is it, guys? Is it a Batman? Is it a Batman figure? Oh, it's probably not. Ooh, this is probably Nightwing. I don't know. Uh, oh, maybe not, actually. Oh, this is Robin. This is Robin. Three, two, one. It is, of course. As soon as I felt the hood and then the back part of this stick. At first, I only felt this. So I was like, oh, it's Nightwing because, you know, he has the batons. So I thought it was Nightwing at first. But luckily, I did not made, uh, make a hasty judgment. So here he is. The one, the only, the boy wonder himself, Robin. Woohoo. He's looking pretty nice as well, actually. I gotta say, all of these look great. I gotta say, overall, I'm very, very impressed by the mystery minis. I really, really like them quite a bit. I mean, otherwise, I wouldn't get them. <laughs> Obviously, the only reason I'm getting them is because I really like them. And because you guys uh, want to see some more uh, blind box videos at the same time. All right. Whoa. I completely messed that up. <laughs> this box is, like, destroyed. Like, what happened? All right. Here we go, guys. Closing my eyes. Can we get a Batman, please? It would be about time. Is it Batman? It's not Batman. Okay. Well, just by process of elimination and the fact that it feels like he's holding uh, two batons this time around, this is the one, the only, Nightwing. All right, there he is, Nightwing, looking quite, quite cool indeed. The double batons right there. Very cool face sculpt, actually. I like that. And uh, just overall, a very, very nice finish on this guy. There he is. All right, final three boxes. This means that all of these are going to be Batmans. Which one are we going to get? Let's find out in what order. All right, here we go, guys. So box number three to last. That's not a number, but here we go. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Here we are. This is actually box number 10, isn't it? Because there are 12 boxes in total. Okay, this is definitely Batman right away because I feel the cape right here. Now I just got to figure out which Batman this is. Um, all right. It's not A and it's not B. So therefore, it's the one, the only Batman C. I mean, you can just tell because of the way that the cape is uh, swaying plus just the overall length of the figure is uh, matching the design of Batman C. All right, so which one will it be? Batman A or B in the final two boxes? Uh, I'm going to go with this one first. All right, so remember, leave your guess in the comments section below for which one you think the last figure will be. Come on. There we go. Let's open this up. Let's open this up. Here we, oh, wow, that came loose very nicely, actually. All right, closing my eyes, and here we go. Just through the bag, I'm gonna... I could almost make a guess already. 
Um, okay, this is probably, hmm, I'm actually not sure, because I feel like that Batman B would be, like, shorter or, like, more, like, um, battle position, right? Okay, I think this is the one that's, like, kind of, like, super power, uh, super saiyan power-up, which I think was A. So I'm going to guess Batman A, 3, 2, 1, all right, uh, was that Batman A? Uh, yes, it was, all right, cool, so I did guess correctly, very nice, all right. Wow, he's got like this really metallic shiny paint. Like if you compare it to this one even, can you see that? Like, can you notice how different this is? This is kind of crazy. Like the paint on there is kind of insane. It's like so shiny, it's crazy. Look at how reflective he is in comparison to everyone else. All right, which means that of course, the final figure, the final one of the bunch will be Batman B without even closing my eyes. It would be kind of funny if I just open it and it's actually Joker. Or like somebody else. It's like, oh, look at that. We played a joke on you. But there he is. Batman B in his like stocky kind of pose. What happened here? It's like he forgot to shave properly. He was like shaving. And then there was some sort of a crime that he had to run, uh, rescue people from. And he forgot to shave the rest of his goatee. That's weird. <laughs> so there he is. The final Batman. So with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, in the comment section below, go ahead and vote. It, which figure is your favorite? Is it Batman A? Batman B? Batman C. Maybe it's the one and only Nightwing. Could it possibly be Robin that you like the most? The Red Hood himself. Maybe it's the lovely Scarecrow. I gotta say, I think he's my favorite. The design on this guy is just phenomenal. So cool looking. Then we've got Mr. J himself, Joker, Harley Quinn, then Poison Ivy, followed right by the Arkham Knight himself, and last, oh, but certainly not least, the one, the only Catwoman. So, with that in mind, ladies and gents, vote on which one is your favorite of this crazy pile of mystery minis. As always, ladies and gentlemen, have an absolutely fantastic day. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, and I will catch all of you lovely folks next time. Peace out, see you laters. Alligators, bye-bye, everyone. I'm Batman. <laughs>